happening right in front of you. Pull it back and see what's going on before you start saying we should kill someone in the name of God. Like, there's a lot of fuckery going on, and you guys are really backwards. When they, they make fun of us and call us like, you know, monkeys still. Like, we're, we still act like apes. All of us. And the truth is, is that you're falling into your lower vibration every time you go, yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever, yeah, fuck this, yeah, fuck you're screwing up everything. As a creator, when you speak, the words that come out of your mouth, that's spell casting. It has power behind it. So every time you tell someone to fuck off when you don't have to, you're getting, you're getting three times the bad karma coming right back to you. And Frank, I've said this before, you've got to look at what you're actually doing with words because they are literally spells. We spell them yes. out. And they have weaponized the very language and the vibrations of the words that we use to suit their own needs. I almost get tired of texting with people now. Like, I keep it simple because people mistake what I'm trying to say to them. And I cannot have that. Right? Don't you ever feel like you can't have that? How many times have you got into an argument with someone over something that doesn't really exist? Oh, and you're like, yeah. you know? Especially over text, it is the worst because you can't see that person. There's no emotion, and there's so many different ways. Uh, Marty, we've had it ourselves. We've fallen out over text typing before, man. <laughs> yeah, <absolutely. laughs> we've been there, and as soon as we get on Skype and see each other, there's nothing. <laughs> uh, definitely, that, that's why I think it's really important for people to actually connect. Enough of all this messages and stuff like that. Get on a webcam and actually see your friend and talk to them. It is time that these conversations come out, the connections are made. I, man, I feel this connection with you guys, and I can't get a connection going with my neighbor, right? But we are making it okay. It is okay. Put your superhero shirt on. Go have a good day. Go be good for a day. It doesn't mean go out and be like Jesus. Just kind of do a couple of cool things where you'd get pissed because someone cut you off. Just let them go. Contribute to the other side. People are so willing to say, I go to church every Sunday, right? And because of that, it gives me the right to be a complete asshole until it's time for confession. And that's going to make everything okay. <laughs> You're so quick to do that and to say things and to ruin lives and to indoctrinate us into cult attitudes. And why? Because you're not down with the rest of us. You must be crazy. Really? I went and I spoke to the creator himself, what you would call the God of the universe, right? But he doesn't want to be called a God because the story in the Bible goes, he took a piece of himself and threw it into the universe and it became the universe, right? That would be us. That would be the light. So when I confronted him, he said, you're me. Kev's me. Marty's me. This guy's me. My grandmother's everyone. So why are you not going out and creating? Why are you not going out and experiencing? Why are you getting so caught up in drama and bullshit that it hurts your chest? That your jaw hurts at night when you lay in bed because you just can't catch a, a you just can't get that break. But you're not doing anything except going into the cycle. But see, they make the cycle so difficult that you just capitulate to it. Well, it's time to stop. Now it's going to be shame on you. Because we're at a point where there's no turning back. If we're rising into the fifth dimension, if we're traveling through layers in the universe, if we're going through space and time, it's time. What are you waiting for? But see, it is showing when um, the riots in Ferguson were supposed to cause mass riots all over the United States. Didn't work. Didn't work. The Internet's a great thing. Having cameras everywhere is, in our hands is a good thing. They gave us the Internet. They fucked up. They gave us something so powerful that our brain is rewriting the code. We're connecting to each other through the same equipment that's meant to hold us down. You know, I think how many people when Roddy Piper died, when when his last quote was, they live was a documentary, not a science fiction movie. How did that resonate with everyone that knows that a billion people seen the movie? You, there's some truth, right? There's got to be something going on. There really well, is. I mean, I mean, there seems to be so many people now in the droves that are just waking up and willing to speak out about things. And it is absolutely amazing in my, my whole journey of this whole path to truth thing. And 
I just really hope that it continues at this frequency and this rate because, like you say, this is the time now. Well, it, that's up to us, right? Do you want to be more? Do you want to do more? Like, what's the reasoning and your intent behind wanting to do what you do? Kev, you said it before. Ah, you got to keep humble, man. Right. Why do you think so many people love it? Because we're just guys. We're being honest and truthful. Do you think I want to go out on air and say, I drink this root or this vine and I talk to entities that you claim are God and you're killing people over and they're laughing, draining your energy and going, oh, we have a creator, someone who knows who he is. And I become a problem to them. But they have to just like, okay, well, you know, all these other people are going to go. And I go, no, they're not. We're going we're gonna to shake things up a little bit now. Because we've been indoctrinated for 2,000 years at minimum into this religious thing that was the first thing that came out to hold you down was religion. The system of control, the first religion, there you go. And you know, Frank, unfortunately, that's a terrible thing to say, but it's real. Not everyone is going to make it, and it's not going to be easy either. And you know, sometimes when it's waking up people, we're just going to have to accept that we're going to have to leave them on their paths and move on. Don't fight every battle on every layer of the onion. The onion has a million bazillion layers, and they all go in different directions, as Popeye would say, down the rabbit hole, deeper and deeper and deeper. It's meant to take you deeper and deeper. I'm like, why would you, To the this is to the public, why would you put your blind faith into something when I'm telling you, or somebody else could be telling you and just putting it out there, look, man, there's actually something that you can take to go see the God you speak of, the people you talk about. The, don't, doesn't anybody want to know where they go when they die? This is where you go because you don't die. It's a big misconception. There's, there's a farming of sorts of our souls and a harvesting of our, our fucking flesh on this planet to keep things a certain way. And Frank, who is it that's harvesting this fear, this negative energy? Because this ayahuasca realm, I could be wrong, I'm totally, I've never been there, but it sounds to me like a place of pure love, pure acceptance and tolerance. That doesn't sound like the kind of entities that the elites are working for. It is absolutely not the same entities. The elites are working for thought form entities. Thought form entities are exactly this. We are creators. So you don't know you're a creator. You're like, I'm a human. I'm just a fat guy sitting on my couch. Well, do you believe in heaven and hell? Because you're a creator. What you believe in exists. So when you do these rituals to bring something here, we're going to talk to this thing. You're a creator. You're actually just creating it and bringing it yourself. Just like you have to save yourself, just like you're in charge of your life, just like you want to pass all this shit on and make the government your big babysitter. But really, it's why don't you just, you know, govern yourself? And Frank, they call me Quantum Kev on here sometimes, but we really are creating everything around about us. We're collapsing all of these waves into reality, into the solid world that we can tap around about us that we think is real, but it's not. It's all just energy like us. I, I want to know why people find it so funny if they believe the stories of old when Greeks and Romans would talk about gods, they would have rituals and speak to them. Uh, the spirits were always involved. Anybody that has an old Italian grandmother knows exactly what I'm talking about with the spirits. They go and talk to them. They have little altars in every you know Spanish uh, household they always have like the Jesus thing with the with the little candles for the mother virgin mother uh, you have all that why wouldn't you just go talk to them and see if that's true like you'll believe in it and you'll be like for the name of God kill these people I keep bringing that up because it drives me insane what you're really working for is the other side you know you got to know that the path to uh, to hell is paved with good intentions and you're the only one creating the hell and frank so, here's an example of the weaponized language again of what you're on about and it was sonia that told myself marty and johnny about this you what you said the word altar there now when you go to a church you enter by the entrance and that's an entrance and by the time you reach the end and get to the altar you're, literally, your consciousness has been altered. Listen, absolutely. I was shown in one of 
many of my experiences. All right, God spoke and he said, let there be light, right? Well, if you're a creator, take take God out of it, call it creator spoke and then there was light and it was good, right? So he opened his mouth and the words came out. If you're a creator, what do you think you're doing when you're speaking? Oh, wow. <laughs> think about this for a second. You really have to zone in on this. And don't take it for the I am God. Think I am creator. I am exactly what Frank is, minus the fleshy Frank suit. We're all the same on the other side, and we're all here together, and we're connected. We're all experiencing it. It's like a hand that goes into the glove and wiggles the fingers. We're the fingers to the guy who stuck his hand in the glove. 